seems like we're going to have to end it off on this part. And so let's go ahead and read Zechariah chapter 10 verse 1. Ask Yahweh for rain in the springtime. It is Yahweh who sends the thunderstorms. He gives showers of rain to all people and plants of the field to everyone. The idols speak deceitfully. The viners see visions that lie. They tell dreams that are false. They give comfort in vain. Therefore, the people wander like sheep oppressed for lack of a shepherd. You see that? And I had to bring these scriptures out so that you may understand the times that we're living in. So, you know, you don't have to believe this. You're not being forced to understand any of this. This is given to you freely. It's on you whether you want to understand this or not. But just remember, right, that you, if you're going to go elsewhere, right, you're going to be believing in falsehood. You're going to be taking comfort in vain. So that's the reason why you're going to be wandering. That's the reason why you're going to always be feeling oppressed or you're going to always be feeling lost. Because deep down inside, you have not found the truth until you actually understand the things that are being revealed to you. Okay, again, the idols speak deceitfully. Diviners see visions that lie. They tell dreams that are false. They give comfort in vain. So the next verse says, My anger burns against the shepherds, and I will punish the leaders. For Yahweh Almighty will care for his flock, the people of Yahweh, and make them like a proud horse in battle. And that's what's going on now today. Who are the people of Yahweh? What is... What does Yahweh means? The people who are thankful. The tribe of Yahweh that are going to be thankful. Ezekiel 28 and 2 again. Son of men, say to the ruler of Tyre, this is what the sovereign Yahweh says. In the pride of your heart you say, I am a God. I sit on the throne of a God in the heart of the seas. But you are a mere mortal and not a God. Though you think you are as wise as a God. So again, this is talking about, right? this Islamic belief all these people that are into this Islamic worship all these people who are you know wise men in their own eyes they think they think that they're better than us they come over here you know and they look down on you because why because of their religion all right that's the reason why because of their religion all of these people who are in that Islamic belief they think that they're better than you they try to be a friend but then in reality, they're going to go ahead and talk bad and say, they, oh, no, 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 what you believe in is wrong. They're going to go try to get you to worship their God. All right? This has always been their spirit. They're proud. Look, look what it says here. In the pride of your heart, you say, I am a God. That's their mindset. So that's how their father is. Right? Look what it says here. Are you wiser than Daniel? There's no secret hidden from you. Let's go ahead and show you this here. Jeremiah 49 and 1. Concerning the Ammonites, this is what Yahweh says. Has Yasharal no sons? Has Yasharal no her? Why then has Molech taken possession of Gad? Why do his people live in his towns? You see that? Because that's really who they worship, Molech. Oh, but they proud, you feel me? They'll go ahead and tell you, nah, brother, 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 come and, you know, come and join this religion here. This is the real one, you know? They want you to worship the moon. They want you to worship Molech. So they proud because they think that they know it all. That's what the Most High is basically saying in a nutshell. You understand? So this entity that they worship, you know, the king of Tyre, because that's where it originated from, that Molech worship, all that stuff. That entity that they worship that makes them feel proud like that, the Most High is rebuking it. Okay? So... Isaiah 25 and 10, this is why it says the hand of Yahweh will rest on his mountain, on the mountain of Taziah one. But Moab will be trampled in their land as straw is trampled down in the manure. Alright, that's because they at war with who? Well, with the chief house of Esau, with Amalek. That's who's dwelling over there in that land called Isis Ra'el. Okay. The chief house of Esau, Amalek. The warlocks, all right, who like to play around with black magic. They like to, you know, speak in archaic Latin. 
They want to conjure demons up and stuff like that. So, Yahweh's hand will rest on Mount Tezai one, but Moab and that land over there, right? Israel, Palestine will be trampled in their land. As straw is trampled down in the manure. Is it because why? Those people are bad, you know, their, their skin color or anything like that? No, it's because of their belief, damn it. Always remember, this has nothing to do with the people, you know, directly, but it has to do with their spirits. You know, they have made oath to the name of false gods. This is the time of war, spiritual war. If you're not right with the Most High, then you're not right at all. And that's what it means. They will be trampled down in the manure. All right? Where is your Allah to save you? Where is whatever you worship to save you? Look what it says now. Look, 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 look. They will stretch out their hands in it. In the manure. And all that shit that you worship. As swimmers stretch out their hands to swim. The Most High will bring down their what? Their pride. Despite the cleverness of their hands. You see that, right? So you see that it has to do with a belief system. This is the rebuke of the of the ruler of Tyre. It's an entity, you know, that makes these people proud, you know. That's why they come over here, you know, thinking that they're better than you. Ah, these stinky Americans. I got more money than you. You eat pork. You're no good. That's what they do. You understand? So that's what's going on. In these times and in these days, we're seeing how human pride is being brought low at an all-time high. Because, I mean, you know, sooner or later, you're going to understand that it is the most high alone. You see, that's why Yahweh says that he dwells in a high and lofty place. He is the most high. He can be the most proud, not a human. Furthermore, he will bring down your high fortified walls and lay them low. He will bring them down to the ground, to the very dust. What is their high fortified walls? Well, that's talking about their Islamic belief system, all right? These people are all connected. They're even connected in the rap industry, too. Don't go too far. It's not just the Freemasons, all right? This Islamic belief is also taking over the rap industry. We have a whole lot of these rappers who are Islamic. A lot of these people, no, no, they, they, they want to become so-called Islamic when they go to jail because oh that's the brotherhood we got your back but then when they come out of jail they were just faking the funk they didn't know what they were joining that for you see that it's gonna bring down your high fortified walls because it was built on lies Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 8 how can you say we are wise for we have the law of Yahweh when actually the lying pen of the scribes has handled it falsely you see that the wives will be put to shame they will be dismayed and trapped oh remember how the people of Yarawashlam they will be trapped and snared since why since they have rejected the word of Yahweh oh they bow down to Allah they Islamic and they want to be drill rappers so since they have rejected the word of Yahweh they want to be Hamites they want to be Edomites well, what kind of wisdom do they have? Go be a Hamite. Go be an Edomite. Go get mad. Because in these times and in these days, all you nations are going to get cut down by the word of the Most High. See that? It's all about being a child of Yahweh, just like it was at the time of Adam. All right? You think all of those Adamites were just one skin color? No. They were people from different nations. But did they know that they were from different nations? No, they did not know. And so that's how your mindset is going to be in these times and in these days. You will no longer call yourself a African-American, Puerto Rican, Dominican, Cuban, Mexican, whatever can. You are a child of Yahweh. How about that? The wise will be put to shame. See that? They will be dismayed and trapped. Go ahead and call yourself black. Call yourself white. Call yourself Puerto Rican. Go ahead. Call yourself by words, reproach. But we who know what is right, this is the inheritance that was given to us. This is our lot that was rightfully chosen for us. Okay? Isaiah 32 and 5. No longer will the fool be called noble. 
nor the scoundrel be highly respected, right? Have a lot of these dudes out there. They, you know, self-proclaimed the wise guys. Yeah, my black brother. You know, we got to be careful when these streets out here. Because let me tell you, let me tell you what the system is doing to you. Then you have, you know, these Hispanic old people. Then go ahead and try to drop a jewel on you. Hey, papi, I'm Moscow, you know, you got to do it this way. But no longer will the fool be called noble. Do these people have any wisdom of Yahweh? Have they took counsel from the Most High Yahweh the way that we do? So let me tell you something. Age is not a factor. It doesn't matter about age. I'm not here trying to be disrespectful. But a lot of people in their old age, they tend to think that they know it all. And so no longer will the fool be called noble. Nor the scoundrel be highly respected. Why? Well, for fools speak folly. Their hearts are bent on evil. They practice ungodliness and spread error concerning Yahweh. There will be no more error concerning the word of Yahweh. For the plant of righteousness will spring forth. See that? All nations, all peoples on the earth are going to understand the ways of the Most High. So, this ungodliness is going to get cut off. Psalms 12 and 7. You, Yahweh, will keep the needy safe and will protect us forever from the wicked. Who freely strut about. See that? Who freely strut about when what is vile is honored by the human race. That's what these people do. They freely strut about when what is vile is honored by the human race. So, you see how, you know, this earth, it continues to get wicked and wicked and wicked each year. You see, like I said in the first part of these videos that I made, you know, and by no means was I trying to put down those two uh, deceased officers who died in the line of duty. But what I was trying to say is that, you know, since the mind of the human race nowadays is not the way that it was 20, 30 years ago from, from, from today, this is what's going on now, you know. You can't even focus to do your job. There's people working 16 hours straight. They only get about four or five hours sleep and they have to do this about three, four days out the week. And, you know, that too affects you. It doesn't let you focus. So there's many reasons, many reasons why the mind is being affected today. The human mind is being affected today. All right. Evil is at an all time high. People are, are, are freely strutting about. Right. One time eyes. Remember that. That's, that's that, you know, that's the, the wisdom they have been enticed with. So, you know, this is the reason why you have to check your wife. These people have been indoctrinated, enticed by a strange woman. This is why their hearts are evil, bent on evil. Psalms chapter 5, verse 11. But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them ever sing for joy. Spread your protection over them. That those who love your name may rejoice in you. See that? That's the wings that we are protected by. Yahweh's protection. Okay? Spread your protection over us. So that's why when we pray with our hands spread out, we are honoring the Most High. Alright? A way of showing self-humility to the Most High. Lowering yourself. Bowing yourself to your God. Okay? With lowered wings. Isaiah chapter 57 verse 15. For this is what the high and exalted one says. He who lives forever, whose name is holy. See that? That's why we exalt the name of Yahweh. I live in a high and holy place. But also with the one who is contrite and lowly in spirit. To revive the spirit of the lowly and to revive the heart of the contrite. See that? This is what our God does. He does live in a high and holy place. And this is why us who live on this earth, we are to bow. We are to spread your hands in prayer. However you do it, you are to show your God that you are being humble. That you understand that He is the one who is the exalted God. That He is the one that lives on high. Who lives forever. Whose name is holy. 
Okay. And so the Most High Yahweh says that I will not accuse them forever, nor will I always be angry. For then they will faint away because of me, the very people I have created. So that's why this is happening. Because the Most High Yahweh says, you know, the time has come where that first generation of Adam is going to get to, you know, we're going to be able to live the lifespan of that first generation of Adam or even longer. The human race is going to get back the blessings that they were first supposed to get. Yahweh says, I was enraged by their sinful greed. I punished them and hid my face in anger. Yet they kept on in their willful ways. I have seen their ways, but I will heal them. I will guide them and restore comfort to Yasharel's mourners. Creating praise on their lips. Peace, peace to those far and near. Says Yahweh. And I will heal them. But the wicked are like the tossing sea, which cannot rest whose waves cast up mire and mud. So in a nutshell, the Most High Yahweh was telling us that not everybody's gonna get it. Not everybody's gonna want to be satisfied with you know what is being offered to them. There are gonna be people to this very day that are gonna continue to believe in the things that they have been believing in. They're gonna continue to wage war against us, against the Most High. Well, Isaiah 33 and 10 says, Now will I arise, says Yahweh. Now will I be exalted. Now will I be lifted. You see that? Now it's all about Yahweh. And so, my heart clings on to the Most High Yahweh each and every day. It says here that these people, they conceive shaft. They give birth to straw. Your breath is a fire that consumes you. The peoples will be burned to ashes. Like cut thorn bushes, they will be set ablaze. See that? Furthermore, you who are far away, who are going to understand this later down the line in the future, right? Hear what I have done. You who are near, acknowledge the Most High's power, which we already do. But in days to come, this is going to be something that a lot of people are going to acknowledge. So you who are near, acknowledge my power. And let's read from the book of Enoch, chapter 41. And after that I saw all the secrets of the heavens and how the kingdom is divided and how the actions of man are weighed in the balance. And there I saw the mansions of the elect and the mansions of the holy. And my eyes saw all the sinners being driven from thence which denied the name of Yahweh and being dragged off. And they could not abide because of the punishment which proceeds from Yahweh. Isaiah 60 and 1, Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of Yahweh rises upon you. Isaiah 8 and 20, Consult the Most High's instruction and the testimony of warning. If anyone does not speak according to this word, it is because they have no light. Praise Yahweh. 